because being a man is hard. <laughs> right. I, as y'all see, y'all watch the show. Yeah, like, it can't make it to I can. I, I'm. I'm. I'm a girly girl. You know. I do. I don't know sports like that. I don't. You know. I don't know man stuff. But they start asking about car parts. I would have been the fuck up out of there. <laughs> Those that are deaf, dumb, stupid, and been living on the rock, tell them what is the concept of The Circle if they've never seen the show. If you've never seen um, Netflix The Circle, basically it's eight individuals. They go into an apartment complex, and the only communication is through The Circle. Uh, but the key is to be the most popular player at the end of you know the finale. Um, but you can go in The Circle as anybody in the world. So you can go in as yourself. Like I did, or you can go in as a catfish, you can go in as a team, um, and the goal is to not get blocked. <laughs> get everybody else blocked and, you know, make your way to the number one influencer. What was your strategy going in to just, like, to be victorious? <laughs> you know, it's funny because you think you're going to have a strategy. That should be out the damn window because every... It, the circle controls the circle, so they throwing so many things out there. But initially, I was like, I'm gonna go in and be myself, and I feel like myself was cool, was dope, and that people would genuinely like me for who I was, and that would allow me to be number one. And it worked. It worked. It worked at first. At first, I mean, no, they. they <laughs> it worked at first. They loved it. it. They loved it. As a curiosity, um, if you would have went in as somebody else, who or what personality would you have picked? That's really hard to say because I don't know. Would it have been male or female? Would you have tried to be a male in the circle? I would have to try to be like a girl because being a man is hard. <laughs> right. I, as as y'all see, y'all watch the show. <laughs> yeah, like, it can't fake it. Too I can. I'm. I'm. I'm a girly girl. You know. I do. I don't know sports like that. I don't, you know, I don't know man stuff, but they start asking about car parts. I would have been the fuck up out of there. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. For real. <laughs> um, but you did choose uh, to be yourself and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, be all the way 100. It was actually cool because even as I'm watching it, you know, I know, I know you and it's like, I'm seeing you. And I'm like, man, this is, this is, this is real. Yeah. As real as it's going to get. Yeah. Um, do you feel like keeping it real in this sense for everyone that's going to be and you know, future seasons and things like that, keeping it real can go wrong. Keeping it wrong can go wrong. Keeping it fake yeah. can go wrong. So keeping it real, like, I, I don't think my issue was keeping it real. It was that everybody else was just keeping it too fake. Mm. So, mm. you know, um, I had some things playing against me, so it doesn't matter what I would have done. I think it would have just, uh, you know, so tell us about your, ca your castmates. Um, who did you uh, take a liking to, whether their persona um, during the show or their persona you know, after you've, you know, everything is said and done? Um, tell us about some of your castmates as far as just you know, your relationship with them and things like that. During my time in the circle during the show, uh, it's funny because, as y'all know, I did not like Chloe to start out with. Like, they don't show how bad she was. Did you watch her show on Too Hot to Handle? No, because if I would have watched it, that bitch would have been gone. Right. I actually I watched the Too Hot to, to Handle. And I'm yeah, like, I, had, oh, no. she I had never seen Too Hot to Handle because if I had, when Savannah was like, let's block her, I would have been like, bitch, <laughs> she can go. If I would have known she was an influencer and as popular, like, amongst the rest of my castmates, Mm. She would have been the first one gone, like, on, on life, out of there. Mm. Um, but, like, I didn't like her at first, but as our time in the circle went on, I actually started to like her. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's about it. My, but my story was a lot different in the circle. I didn't really get a chance to make a lot of uh, connections because so many people were against me in the circle. Mm. So Now, talk, talk about that as far as why... Do you, do you feel and why does, you know, it's all in the editing room floor and everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why were so many people, would you say, were against you, man? You're such a genuine soul. Damn. Because of that. I think it was hard for them to believe that I was telling the truth and, you know, quiet is kept if he's just going to be, you know, real about it. There is a stigma in, like, black women in, in competition shows, and I think 
that biases start to take place that people aren't necessarily aware of. And I think that's kind of what happened, you know, in my case. It was a part of the thing. And, you know, the Joker thing. And it was just a lot of things that were kind of set up against me. And there was, it was hard for, for me to get out of that when it was set up against me, you know? How, is, how hard is it to maneuver when everybody's against you? It's like, and you don't know what to do next or who to trust or how hard is that like, because, you know, we come up against things like that in real life. Yeah. So, I mean, what, how hard was that for you to deal with? And what would be the kind of thing you would do to kind of navigate that if it ever happened again? You know, honestly, it's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of like if you get jumped. All you can do is fight as hard as you can. Amen. And that's I, how I feel. Like, I feel like it was an uphill battle. I'm like, I'm still slaying these hoes. But, yeah, you know, yeah. I ain't going to win. But I ain't going to, you know. That's I, real. I, I fought all the way to the end. I did it, like, as best as I could. And I think I did a, a good job for what it was. I'm just curious because, you know, I be watching Netflix shows and I be wondering, like, you know, they only show us what they can show us. But are y'all allowed to, like, watch regular TV, be on your phones, uh, is it like you, you're honed in on the situation? Yeah, you are in complete circle lockdown. They take your phones. I guess, you know, so you don't Google somebody or to see if they really ate catfish. That's true. Um, okay, yeah, that makes there sense. There was no TV. There was only one day during my time in the circle that we were allowed to watch Netflix. And it was uh, like only certain things we were able to watch. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think it was cartoons. Or That's like, smarter than Yeah. <laughs> That's smarter. How long was, uh, how long, how long was filming? Uh, um, we were out of the cut. Well, we had to quarantine for two weeks and filming, I think, was 15 days. Okay. And That's that cool. included the finale. I don't know. It was a while back, so I really can't remember for sure, for sure. But we were out of the country for a total for, of about maybe almost six weeks. That's dope. And uh, for those fans who are just really curious about the, you know, Savannah to Alicia situation, man, um, you know, it's April of 2022. Where, where is that situation at now? Uh, when you look back on it, um, you know, do you still stand on everything you stand on? Is there anything you want to would have done differently? Anything like that? I still stand 10 toes down, but I would do a couple things differently, knowing like, you know, what type of a snake, but you know, player she was. Um, when it came to uh, the Truth of Dare game, which I think was where it got the most ugly, um, instead of saying her name, I would have said someone else's name. Mm. Cause then that- But you wanted to say her name. So, but, oh, I you mean just, if you would have done it Now if I would have done it differently, I, I, I yeah. honestly would have said Lance. AKA Lisa, yeah. um, because I knew as an artist, you're not going to get $100,000 and go on tour. First of all, we don't pay for our own tours. So I would have said Lance's name. So I, I definitely would have done that differently for sure. <laughs>